Wings bark at the park night out at Coors Field Wednesday night, and the hometown team gave their furry fans something to howl for as they buried the Braves by a 15-run margin. Hey guys, Alexis Perry here with your Denver Post Sports Minute. Throughout the month of August, the Rockies had seven games decided by just a single run. Last night, it was clear Colorado was over the two close for comfort scores. Therefore, they went out and put up 17 runs to back John Gray, who made his 50th career start. Unsurprisingly, it was another stellar showing from the 25-year-old righty, who pitched five shutout innings before before allowing five hits and two runs, all the while striking out six and route to his fifth win of the season. Now for his support group, the Rockies offense was obviously outstanding as they quickly found themselves on top. 6-0 by the end of the third after a rough outing for Mike Fultonevich, who allowed nine hits and eight runs and three and a third innings before Luke Jackson took over and really didn't lend any relief at all for the Braves. Instead, the Rockies hosted a mini home run derby in the fourth frame as Mark Reynolds went yard off Jackson's very first pitch of the game to give the Rockies another three runs just before Trevor Story crushed a two run dinger to left field for his 17th of the season. But that's not all, folks. He'd pick up his 18th before the shellacking was all said and done, racking up another three ribbies, totaling six on the night. 17 to the final score. And the Braves will definitely be looking to bounce back from that one as Colorado will look to keep rowing in the final game of the four game set, all starting at 110 local time today. The game will not be televised, so meet me back here tomorrow for the oh so detailed game recap. I'll see you then.